Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I just had to start it because Maggie was giving me a funny look there. She was just staring there for a while, so I just deci decided to go for it. Uh, before we get going, I just want to wish a couple friends happy birthdays. Trent S. in, I believe, Mission BC, Canada. I don't actually know where you live, Uncle Trent, but happy birthday wherever you actually live. I believe it's Mission BC, but my apology if that's wrong. Um, Happy birthday, hope you're having a great day, and, uh, and a happy birthday. <laughs> also, Liz C. in Whitehall, Maryland, USA, happy birthday to you. I uh, hope you're having a great day and a happy birthday. Hope anybody having a birthday today is having a happy birthday. And to the rest of us, let's just have a great day. Maggie's got her jingle collar on. It's that season, it's December, it's jingle jingle collar season. <laughs> um, we've had kind of a lazy day here so far, to be honest, um, haven't really got up to much, just kind of slept in a bit, had some coffee. That's about it. That's really all we've been up to so far. Um, yeah, just taking it easy. I uh, have a, a, an, an interesting product here, very intriguing product. This is from 802 Heat. Um, this is our good friends, Dave and Paula and Jake, their YouTube channel, Funky Food with Dave. Well, they make hot sauces and tinctures and honeys and syrup. I feel like I'm forgetting something maybe, or maybe that is all of it. But either way, everything I've had from them is very enjoyable, um, very well made, and uh, it's very well thought out. So I'm really eager to see what this is. Um, yeah, they're in uh, in Vermont, USA. That's what the 802 is. I guess the 802 is the area code. I thought it was actually on here, to be honest, but that's okay. Um, this is Warlock's Revenge. That sounds kind of mean, doesn't it? Um, sounds quite sinister. There's a little write-up on the back here. <coughs> Pardon me. After 2,000 years of banishment, our warlock makes his way back with a vengeance on his mind and releases this potent warlock's brew on all unsuspecting non-believers. This brew will cause immediate reaction to the tongue, mouth, and throat due to the heat and flavor will make you have an everlasting need for this brew. Warning, this brew will have you become a member of the Warlock's clan. That sounds very intriguing. I kind of want to be a member of the Warlock's clan, I'll be honest with you. So, I guess this will gain us entrance to the Warlock's clan. Let's see what we have in here. Check out that label. I really like that artwork. If I can focus on it. Yeah, very cool. It honestly almost looks like a, like a heavy metal band CD cover or something like that, like a black metal band or something like that. Very cool, I really dig this label, the artwork. There it is right there, 802 Heat. That's how you can get a hold of them. That's their their uh, business phone number, I believe. I don't know, I've actually never called it, to be honest. I, uh, I communicate with them over Facebook and Instagram. I will, of course, leave their links down below in the description box so that you can get a hold of them. Highly recommend. Check out this sauce. Look at how busy and beautiful the sauce is. It's like a like a yellow relish almost. Like it looks so nice. Uh, here's the ingredients. Actually, I'm gonna read it off of my notepad because because I took the time time to write it down, even though it's on the bottle here. But I did it. Uh, the ingredients are habanero peppers, orange. Pineapple. I forgot my shades. I was totally gonna wear my pineapple shades, and I totally forgot. Yeah, they're not in here. Sorry, Maggie. <laughs> Dropped my pocket knife, and it scared her. Sorry, sweetie. Oh well. <laughs> um, where were we? Pineapple, peaches, mango, ghost pepper, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, scorpion pepper, Carolina Reaper pepper, and seven pot dougla pepper. So, I think this is gonna be a hot sauce, but I think it's gonna be delicious too, because it's got ha habaneros as the first ingredient. You know, 
it's a hot pepper for sure. It's a hot pepper. And then we have a bunch of fruits, orange, pineapple, peaches, mango. Awesome. And then a bunch of, well, a super, super hot vinegar, brown sugar. I already read you the ingredients. I don't need to read it again. <laughs> uh, I essentially just did though. Anyways, let's open this up. Let's remove this shrink wrap and have a look at the sauce. Once again, thank you very much, Dave, Paula, and Jake from 802 Heat and Funky Food with Dave. Really appreciate you helping our channel out, supporting our channel, and sending us these things to review for you. I, it's really awesome. This is, these are great products, and it's an honor to, to have... Uh, to, to, to be considered for, for, for your reviewing your products, because I know that you put a lot into them. I'm just showing you the consistency right now. It's kind of a medium consistency. I would call that a straight up medium consistency. It's got great, look at the texture of that. Look at how the light bounces off of that. That is beautiful. That is a nice chunky sauce. Let's open it up. Ooh, nice little pop there. That smells really nice. That's it. Kind of reminds me of their other sauces, the um, the tropical sauces, tropical heat smooth, and there's one that we didn't get, I think, or did we end up getting it? I don't remember. No, we had a we had a breakage like on one of our first parcels that we had shipped up because we know how the postal services can treat our parcels. Oh, snow plow. We got some snow overnight. I was wondering what that sound was. Scraping sound overnight. Let's give this a pour. Nice yellowish, brownish, almost colored sauce. Some nice chunks in there. Let's give this a try. This is Warlock's Revenge from 802 Heat. Thanks, pals. Heat my shorts. Wow, that is a delicious sauce. Great fruity flavor. Yeah, that's really good. That's got a kick too. That's got a, it just stung me in the throat there. Great flavor, great consistency. Wow. This is so good. Hmm. Oh, I'm out of the frame. <laughs> Standing too far back. That is a delicious fruity sauce. Let's talk about the heat first. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Um, if you didn't watch that chip challenge from Stone Pepper Kitchen, highly recommend going back and watching that. I got a lot of views, but highly recommend that. That's a funny video. I enjoy watching that one. Proud of you, Jeremy. I'm going to say that again. Um, the heat on this, I would say that puts me to a 4 out of 10, I think. Good forehead sweat, a sweat around the eyes, on the cheeks. Um, I got the lip burn, the throat burn, full tongue burn, roof of the mouth. It's basically all over. I can feel it down in my chest, warmth down in the chest. Not overwhelming, obviously. It's a, you know, 4 out of 10. Maybe, yeah, it's, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Um, if you are a habanero hothead, you might call this like a... 7 out of 10? I don't know. It's hard to say. Sauce definitely has a kick and like a, a complex burn. It's not just, you know, not just a tongue burn. It's, 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 it's a good all, all encompassing burn. I think that's the right word. I don't know. If not, we'll pretend it was. <laughs> um, if you are new to jalapenos, 
call that like a, I don't know. Well, I, keeping in mind I'm judging it on four spoonfuls. Like a nine out of 10, you could panic from this. If you are new to jalapenos, you could go into panic mode from this sauce. I'm sure of it. The flavor? I gotta have, I'm gonna have some more actually. I'm gonna get the spoon back out because I'm having a, an internal debate here about my flavor rating. You don't need to worry about, about, about the rating though. <laughs> it's a good rating. I think I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10? Yeah, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. This is a great, delicious fruit-based sauce. The... Yeah, the, the fruits come through so nicely. The apple cider vinegar doesn't really break up the party at all. <laughs> um, it just kind of hides in there. The brown sugar adds a nice sweetness to those fruits because those are sweet fruits the or orange pineapple peaches mango those are sweet delicious syrupy fruits well the peaches and mango are syrupy I guess so is the pineapple totally and then those super hot peppers add a nice kick to that and I'm not really getting that super hot flavor if you know what I mean I'm not maybe a little bit of bitter because there are seeds in it there are super hot peppers peppers and <laughs> peppers but barely any bitter at all. It's sweet and hot. Delicious fruity. This is a great sauce. 9 out of 10 flavor rating. This is awesome. Would I recommend Warlock's Revenge? Absolutely. If you like your fruit-based sauces and you're looking for a nice, super hot fruit-based sauce, hit up 802 Heat. And if you don't want super hot ones, they have similar sauces. I think the other ones have like onion and garlic in them. Maybe I'm not hundred percent sure about that, but they're delicious and they have a range of heat. And then they also have the, what is it called now? Java cherry crunch. I think that sauce is so good. That sauce is delicious. I love that. Th that sauce That is such a good sauce. And honestly, anything from there, their, their tinctures, the honey, the syrup, it's all great stuff. And uh, very well made, very well made. Yeah, you can tell they put put a lot of thought into the into their products. It really shows. Um, as far as did I say that I would restock it? I think I did say it, but yes, I'll I'll say it again. I would absolutely restock this stuff. It's a great sauce. What would I pair it with? First thing that comes to mind is desserts, fruit salads, ice cream, pie, uh, breakfast stuff, put it on a toast. Um, be great in fish tacos, I think. All sorts of burritos, pizza, put this on ham and pineapple pizza if you're into that sort of thing. I know that's not for everybody. I like it. I It's not my favorite pizza, but I, I will eat it. And if I have it, I'd put something like this on it for sure. Even like a meat lover's pizza. I think this would be great on a pizza like that. Um, you could use this as a salad dressing too, I think. It's not very vinegary, but it's nice and sweet. It would be a different kind of a salad dressing. Very nice. Very well done. Um, thank you very much, Dave and Paula and Jake. Um, if, you're, if you're not familiar, all of you, uh, Jake is Dave and Paula's husky. He's absolutely beautiful. He's a very handsome boy, and he is... Maggie's sweetheart. They are, they're in love with each other. Absolutely. Hey Maggie? Maggie? You like Jake? <laughs> she does. Uh, let's step back and have a little hangout with Maggie actually. Hey? Hey? Yeah? Try not to point my back to the camera. <laughs> hey Maggie, are you such a good girl? You don't want to come say hello to Jake? Hey? Yeah, this is a tough day. Are you having a tough day, Maggie? Oh, 
Well, you're such a good girl. <laughs> she likes her jingle collar. Can I have a high five? Oh, yes. Good girl, man. You are such a good dog. So, I think I'll basically wrap the video up here. Show you this one more time. Hopefully there's less glare on the computer than there seems to be in here because um, it's quite glary in here. <laughs> but that's okay, I suppose, right? Um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this video, for sure. I really, honestly enjoy making these videos so much. It really gives me something to do throughout the day, even if I'm sitting and eating, eating a bag of chips and putting tincture on it and talking about my bad day. It still helps me so much to talk about it, to help me realize things that I wasn't realizing before, or even just to get it out in the open. That really helps. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate all the time that you spend here on the channel and communicating with each other and supporting each other. Uh, uh, it's really quite wonderful. My beard's got like a hole in it right now. I didn't comb it before this video. Sorry. <laughs> Just kind of got right into it. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you all have an awesome day. I love you all very much. Um, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, Funky Food with Dave. Try not to knock their sticker over. Hop over to their channel, give them a subscribe, and check out their material if you haven't already. Up here, two playlists for you to enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. I love you all very much. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve, The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.